go and make something. So this is just a quick video to show what I've been up to in the last couple of days after the last video over the weekend. And it's basically, I've tidied up this whole corner. So I've, I've basically tidied up this whole corner and actually sorted it. So we've got paints and a filler at the top. And then we've got stains and thinners and that, then glues. And then right down the bottom we've got house paints and a little bit of a little bit of uh, mechanical like car waxes and oil and a few other things. I've re rearranged this wall here a little bit. Not that you'd be able to really notice it. Uh, I have added the shelf onto this this French cleat clamp holder. I've added a shelf on top of it to actually hold my nails for my nail gun. I've added shelf there for the circular saw and what I'm wanting to do next is put another cleat across here and that will, I might make a couple of holders for the drills and then eventually I'm going to take the bracket off there that holds the hose and we'll just add it to the wall so maybe here and then I can actually wind up both hoses and stop tripping over them when, I'm, when they're not in use because I have a tendency just to leave them where they are tidied up down here well on this bracket up here on this cleat that I'm going to put here I'll make another wee shelf to hold the to hold the batteries spare batteries I've tidied up and sorted this out so I've now got these just brackets in that one and a few other bits and pieces I'm not sure what to do with those yet hose fittings and then this one we've got clips for the pegboard spare ones all the different tools for the things like the grinder at no the grinder one is up there because it's I lost that before the think things like the sanders and all the rest of it hinges different types of hinges and bits and pieces oh that's just that one just another one needs sorting small files for when I'm doing scroll sawing jigsaw blades and a level scroll saw blades tap and die except the tap no not the tap the die holder doesn't actually fit in there which is now and that's just still over in there somewhere in one of those drawers spare router bits which i've got to make a router bit holder for drill bits lathe bits um we've got the the bolts for the the clamp bolts for the drill and spare chuck kind of tidied up over there the scroll saw i have i'll put a blanket over it to keep the dust out of it and at the present my router is up there with the router lift uh, the other router is in the bag and there is the what's in that one the ryobi i can't remember a biscuit joiner in there is just a few bits and pieces that i just I'm not sure what to do with yet and what because i want to get rid of that container but i not sure what to do with what's in there yet I haven't quite sorted out under there that's a few more stains and paints it's probably some of those paints can get thrown out a couple of the stains will be fine and i really should get rid of those because i don't need those anymore that they are the all the different boxes for the um power tools ah uh, so i have to sort that out and find somewhere to for it i've kind of sorted out in here they're all in their bags now um i keep this is a homemade bag my other half made and that's just got my face mask and painter's masks in there it just keeps the dust off them so you don't have to always clean them and all the rest of it so i keep them in a bag the sanders that's the multi-tool in there belt sander another 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 three sanders and up here i've got orbital sander the jigsaw at the back the heat gun two aeg nail guns so in the drawers welding rod um sanding discs um, sandpaper a few sanding blocks and junk drawer I also keep my, my safety glasses in the drawer as well that way again there's no dust getting on them because if you get dusty dusty glasses and you just wipe them it scratches them now I've got to get up I've kind of also sorted that out kind of but not quite you have cleared it down there that used to have that was just piling out of junk I even swept up a little bit up here is kind of getting there I've still got a few 
find a few spots for things like that's all the nails for the big nail guns um, then still got all those the nails this is all for the home renovation that we're doing for when we're doing the weatherboards and all the rest of it so nothing's really changed on the table saw up there is yeah we just won't show you that but that's just a nightmare up there things just get tossed there up there and then get lost like there's the old sled up there that I still I still use that sled quite regularly the other sled's there I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna store those just yet there's three of them and the one on the table there underneath the miter saw uh, just under that blanket of now that's where I'm now storing the jointer not many of you probably realize I've actually got a small jointer I don't use it that often I've used it once or twice in a video maybe shop back there that just connects up to the miter saw sometimes I'll actually spin it around and connect it up to the table saw if I'm doing a big rip but I've got to run the hose past yeah we won't show you that I've got to sort that out too that part is actually not looking too bad all things considered once I put that bracket up on the wall I can actually then put the hoses away quick video just to show you what I've been up to spending my time well as best I can kia kaha, stay safe we'll see you next time thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and remember to click the notification bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can find us on most social media, including Google+, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.